nice, cool vibe, and I love the pieces. And I'm very happy to be here to introduce her as she closes out our feature set, as she starts to, let me do the Velvet Impresario, yeah. as she starts to do the cool walk. Hey. I need you to start showing some love for Alyssa Glenn, the free fall diva. said something tonight that was directly or indirectly related to stuff I wanted to talk about, so I don't have to say anything! It's awesome! <laughs> Shh! <laughs> um, a lot of people ask me about my height, too. You know, I'm 6'5", and I know I don't look it. <laughs> I'm not a big dude. I'm not a small dude. Um, I'm not even a medium dude. I'm just going to go over a few things. I was taking some notes on uh, throughout the evening. Older men's penises don't work. Um, I beg to differ. I've been dating older men since I was 18, and um, I'm really satisfied with the uh, results of those choices that I made. They're experienced. They're, well, they only start to become emotionally mature after age 42, so I am still de dealing with the same attitudes as younger dudes, so I have that younger dude attitude, and I like an experienced penis. Well, well, well used and well learned. Um, I, 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 I don't want to be a reality TV star, but I always imagined if I was on one of those reality TV shows that I would be that like completely dramatic, spastic, losing her mind, crazy drama queen bitch. And it's not how I am in real life, but I think those shows like just draw out the most insipid of our nature and or and it's just it's it's a mess and i know it, it just seems like people are totally not themselves on these reality tv shows um so i don't think i would i, I don't think i want to be a reality tv star but i watch a lot of reality tv it's like a drug um ows um he, this this gentleman left earlier you know I really appreciate the uh, Occupy Wall Street movement, but I also know that most of the things we do here on the planet are really is really just rearranging the deck chairs of the, on the Titanic. This ship is going down, and there's nothing we can really do about it. I, I, I really appreciate the work that the, that the movement is doing, but nothing is really going to change and nothing is really going to happen in the course of human events until each individual consciousness wakes up to itself as an inextricable extension of infinity and an ever-expanding universe. Duh, everybody. It's just not going to happen! You know, it's just not going to happen until that happens. Uh, I love humanity, but, you know, it's, there, there's, a, there's a meaninglessness that is, that is divine, that we have an opportunity to throw away all this meaning we've given it, because we've, all, we've given it the wrong meaning. We're not coming from our right minds. So nothing's going to happen until we all wake up into our total minds and realize that we are a seamless extension, an inextricable extension of the divine. Um, I wrote this. This is P Pierre Fontenelle, <laughs> <laughs> <The> stand-in boyfriend. <laughs> That's your new title for me. You're like the stand-in boyfriend. That's a high-paying job. You know, you don't have to be Claudia Schiffer. Be her stand-in, and you get paid just as much and without the drama. <laughs> Um, and I, I really like, I think that is really one of the best Valentine's Day presents on the planet, actually, is to have a divorce finalized on Valentine's Day, because it's real. I mean, the relationship was doomed from the beginning in the first place, because they thought they were finding love outside of themselves in the first place, so looking penub, looking penub in all the wrong places, you know, looking penub in all the wrong places. It doesn't work. We have to love ourselves first. And someone else said that tonight. That's what I mean tonight. Like, really, everything that I wanted to talk about tonight, everyone already said it. It's really true. We have to love ourselves. 
the woman left who said this thing. I didn't quite get it, but I think I got it right. She said that black women get married as often as a vibrator runs without batteries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and white women are the only ones who marry themselves, too. And I, I married myself in 2006, and I take my vows very seriously. I'm in a primary relationship with myself, and all other relationships are affairs. <laughs> Takes the edge off a little, you know? This is, you know, I already have a husband. <laughs> Some people really should never get married. I agree. <laughs> okay, Pierre Martinel. <laughs> We're not getting old. We're dying! We're dying now. We're dying every minute. We're dying the moment we're born. We were never here, but we're dying. My, tooth are, my teeth are decaying as we speak. We're in a constant state of decay. And by the way, I'm 40. <laughs> I'm 40, I'm single, I'm an artist living in New York City, and I'm in a long distance relationship with a writer who isn't really a Jew because his dad is Jewish and his mom is Scandinavian. And thank God my brother has gotten married, so my parents will turn all their genetic, you know, lineage bloodlust over to him. Because that's not going to happen. And I am not really interested in getting married. I, I'm already married, and I'm not really interested in polygamy. 